it's shiny welcome back so today I'm going to do my copy kitty look that I do with my good girl friend Jan Van every week but I'm also gonna chat because usually I don't chat in these videos but I'm feeling you know loquacious is that the right word oh my god yeah GRE words. Um, so I'm going to use a Sugar High palette from Menagerie Cosmetics and I'm going to um, try to recreate a look that I found that was done by Pretty Vet 1985. So she has some wonderful pictures on her Instagram and there was one that I was like, oh, that's cool, I have that palette, let me try to recreate it. Now, of course, I'm gonna put my own spin on it, but I will link her Insta and everything in the description box um, so that you can go check her out. So I'll put, um, well, here, here's the look. And I'll remember to put it up on the, screen and she used the sugar high palette from menagerie and this is actually the first palette i bought from menagerie cosmetics and i it's so awesome and so because of that i ended up buying two other palettes from them the claws palette I'll show you and the pause palette now basically i couldn't decide between claws and paws Okay, y'all, 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 um, you know, I try to keep up with what it, the, what's going on with the children these days. I tend to get, um, a lot of college students as clients, um, and you know, like I try to keep up with the trends and stuff, um, just to like be informed as to what they're doing. But sometimes they're like, oh my God, Dr. B, I can't believe you don't know that. I'm like, child, listen, we are not in the same age group. Anyway, a couple of things I've noticed. Let me start with the, the first thing. I'm going to go in with, is that what I want to do? Mm -mm. Yes. Go in with the Colored Rain Paint Base. I'm looking at the shades she used. So she used Sweet Varieties, Snuggle Bug, and Sugar Cube. So that is Sweet Varieties, Snuggle Bug, and Sugar Cube. So it looks like uh, Sugar Cube is kind of mainly on the lid, and then Sweet Varieties is on top, while Snuggle Bug is out or outer corner. Um, okay, so speaking of trends, right? Have you heard of micro flirting? I. Mm, Now, you know, some of us have been in the, the flirting game for quite some time, or not, you jumped out of it, you, you retired, you know, whatevs. I'm a flirter, okay, I'm a flirter. Um, and so I was like, what is micro flirting? Is that like like akin to like micro needling, microdermabrasion? What is micro flirting? And so I read this article and I still didn't understand. So I think I'll start with the mat. I still don't understand and I'm going in with this Rose and Ben E29. So I'm like, okay, obviously I need to go do some research. Since I'm packing this on, let me use a different brush. I like to use this for like blending, but when I'm packing things on, I prefer to use like a flat, flatter brush. So, you know, uh, I don't have TikTok, um, thankfully, you know, because, like, apparently it doesn't happen if it's not on TikTok. And I'm okay being not in the know on what's going on there. But someone was basically saying micro flirting. By the way, this has been discussed by dating experts, whatever that means. Um, how can you be an expert in dating? I don't know. 
and that it's something that's used by shy people. Well, mainly they said shy men, so they're focusing on heterosexual relationships. So it's like this idea that men want to ask women out, but they don't want to be rejected. Understood, nobody likes a rejection, right? But I'm like, WTF is micro flirting. So I consulted Dr. Google. And apparently, there are 28 signs that he's micro flirting with you. So I just want to go through these 28, y'all. Let's talk about it. Let me put this. I'm going to put this phone right here on this little stand I have. The first one. Now, we're going to come from the perspective of those of us 40 and up, okay? Okay. 39, 38 and up, whatever it is. Okay. Cause I don't I don't know that this applies for us. So let's this is this has to be for the children, but let let me let me know what you think. The first one, he mentions things he admires about you that go way beyond the physical, like your commitment, ambition, or giant heart. Like that does that's micro flirting. First of all, yeah, I want you to say all of that, and um, I want you to say that I'm pretty. Like, I don't understand. Like, what's wrong with both? Right, Rosé? So, I don't know. That seems just like... I think if someone is just focusing on your physical appearance, you know, mm, then you might consider that maybe they're not thinking of something serious. They just want sort of like a wham bam, thank you ma'am, which is fine, which is fine. If that's what you're both looking for, then do it to it. But um, I don't understand, like, I don't understand. Number two, he notices whenever you wear something that deviates from your typical style or do your hair a little different. Okay, I mean, I, I remember like all the old stories of people talking about, he never, he never notices my hair and stuff. So, I don't know. I feel like for me, if someone didn't notice my hair, there would be something wrong because my hair is different so often that I don't even know if I want you to say something each and every time. Like, okay, I know Friday it was different, Saturday it's different, Sunday is back to Friday. You know, like it's, it's okay. You don't have to mention it every single time. But if it's an obvious like thing, maybe, but also I'd be like, what do you think of my hair? You know? I firmly believe, and this is what I tell a lot of my clients, we have to communicate, right? Because yes, there's this idea that people are just gonna know exactly what we want, but no, not all the time. And that also doesn't mean that the person doesn't care about you. It's just that they are not you, you know what I'm saying? So I might do something and think it's like normal in the grand scheme of things. And somebody else, friend, foe, partner, parent, sister, whatever, might not think that it's just common knowledge. You know what I mean? So listen, I also tell people how to compliment me. Like, I really just want you to tell me I'm pretty. I say that to people. So now you already know what you need to say. He texts you things like, hey there, or what up, just to open a dialogue midday, but never at some ungodly offensive booty call hour. The fact that you're texting me, hey there, with no capitalization and no periods, or what up, instead of like, what's up, uh, with, like, we already have a problem. Like, I'm, I would prefer that you use full-on sentences. I mean, you, you could say that, but don't, I don't know if I want you to do it in the middle of the day. What do you want? Like... <laughs> I don't have time, okay? Like, I am usually, like, I try to check my phone in between sessions because sometimes clients will message me. But if you're just like, hey there, what do you actually want? Um, like, tell me something. If you say, hey, how are you? That's more to me than hey there. Hey there what? What up? What you think is up? I'm working. So he does the text, except when he's a little tipsy and he can't help texting around midnight to say hi or come out. Y'all, this is not for us above a certain age. First of all, you're texting me at what time? <laughs> a 
okay, when my sleep is good, um, midnight, I don't know her. I'm asleep. I'm a good two hours into it. And my phone is certainly on do not disturb. So you might say hi and in the morning I'll say good morning. Because you're not going to get an answer unless I roll over or something. I look at my phone or I get up to go pee and I got to look at my phone. And then maybe I will message you and it'll, it'll be something like I was asleep. Uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow. And it's not with the intent of trying to hook up. Then why are you texting me at midnight? What do you want? Th this is the whole thing. Like, we can't have a texting relationship. How about you call me? Only if it's important. Number five, he remembers little details. Like, I think they mean, like, little details, tiny details, about your past conversations and all the times you've spent together. Subtle but meaningful proof that he cares. Mm, yeah, I mean, you don't want to be like... Remember that day we first met and they're like, no. I mean, you know, but also not all of us are young and spry and we've used our brains for, for a little while now, you know, and so sometimes you just don't remember stuff. But it would be nice to remember, you know, the important things, you know? You know what, though? I think it's important to have conversations about your expectations. Like, what are you expecting? Are you expecting that I'm going to remember every date you've ever told me? Because if so, I need you to give me a calendar invite so I can already have it on there. When he hugs you, he holds on for a millisecond longer than most people do and then squeezes you tighter right before releasing you. What is he, a boa constrictor? Honestly, I love hugs, so I think I'm the one that holds on a little longer. With my family, I'm always like, don't let go! No! Both hands! Keep keep hugging me. So, I don't know. Um, I, don't, I feel like my friends and I, we like, we hug for a long time, you know? What's, like, I'm not just gonna do a pet. Like, usually I haven't seen you in a minute, so give me a hug, girl! And boo, I, I love hugs. Let me know how you feel about them. I know some people are not, they don't feel comfortable with like, you know, over the top touch, but I love a good hug. I love a good snuggle. I still sit on my parents' lap. And they were like, can you get off of me, please? You are a full grown woman and you're heavy. <laughs> Jealous. <sighs> Number seven, he's legitimately always happy to see you whether or not he says so. Okay, I like that one. What I really enjoy about G is I'll walk in the door and he's like, oh, there's my girl. And so like, it's like, it's like my own hype man, right? I love it. It's, it's, I'm like, okay, hi. <laughs> no pictures, please. Um, so I do like that. I do, I think it's important to, you know, like the person you, you are seeing. I mean, I assume that you, you do. No, but you know what? We don't always like the people we care about, right? Like, we love them, but we don't, sometimes we don't like them. But yeah, it's nice to see the person that you love. Number eight, he's old school chivalrous. I don't even know if people de this these days know what that means. Always letting you step out of an elevator first, holding doors open and offering to help you carry things. Okay. I mean, I could dig it. Like, but here's the thing, I, <laughs> I'm often like, I can do it myself, but I do appreciate the help, you know? And like, <laughs> somebody run out the elevator in front of me, I'm like, excuse me? But I do that for people too. Like if I get in an elevator with someone I or something, I usually let them, you know, I'm like after you, or if I'm going into a store and somebody's coming or going, I hold the door open. So I just kind of expect that that's, that's just manners. If you're having relationship troubles, he takes your side on every contention. No, 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 no. If you're having relationship troubles, he takes your side on every contentious issue, no matter what. I don't understand that. If you're having relationship troubles, he takes your side on every contentious issue, no matter what. So he lies to me, to my face. 
I don't agree with that's the one that stands out the most as a oh no 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 I don't I mean I love winning an argument okay but I don't want you to agree agree with me just to agree with me because sometimes it's gonna be like you know what let's agree to disagree disagree like I understand your point I don't agree with it but I appreciate what you're saying you know what I'm saying I don't want you just to agree just because I don't know that feel mm, it feels like one of those like happy wife happy life kind of thing where it's like whatever you say honey I mean to some extent yes whatever I say but also that just feels that just feels what's the word I'm looking for oh, it just passed through my head patronizing that just feels like patronizing or something don't just say I totally agree with you without thinking about it like I don't know I'm up for a healthy debate I, I don't know. I mean, there are some things where I'm just right, you know, but a contentious issue. I, I don't want you to lie to me about it. Like, I don't I don't think that's healthy. Number 10, he's always urging you to look out for yourself and saying that you deserve to be treated well, subtly hinting at how well he would treat you if given the opportunity. To an extent, I degree, degree. I agree. What I don't like, though, is sometimes people will be like, I could treat you better than he can. How you know? First of all, I'm expensive, okay? Like, I also am not always the healthiest mentally, okay? And I prefer to be the lead, the, out of the couple, I prefer to be the one that's, that's, the craziest essentially like I need you to be super sane because that isn't always where I am it's not always my ministry and so yeah um but I do appreciate someone you know making sure I'm taking care of myself I know especially for me I tend to work 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 um and I don't take enough time for myself you know like I I will only stop when my body's like, yeah, we're not doing this anymore. Um, so I, I do appreciate if someone is like, make sure that you're taking care of yourself, blah, blah, blah. I mean, but also like I'm with someone who has his own business. I have my own business and essentially we're both just like grinding, 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 you know? Um, so I don't think either one of us actually takes enough time to chill out but yeah I at least want somebody to tell me to do it or you know encourage me like hey you take a break girlfriend like for real for real okay he doesn't brag about past conquests or talk about hooking up with other women when you're around who are these people Okay, I guess this is if you're dating. Because if you're in a relationship, I'm concerned about that. Like, first of all, don't, don't, don't. What? Like, <laughs> um, not okay with it. Like, why would you... This must not... Uh, this is not a serious thing, then, that we're doing here. Um, because I don't understand why you would be talking about other conquests. So that's what I am. That I... I'm a conquest. You have not conquered this quest. He's overly cautious not to disrespect women when you're together, foregoing terms like Uzi and Unt. Y'all, listen. I don't have time for that one. He's overly cautious. You have to be overly cautious to not use those words. Okay. 
13. He looks into your eyes when you speak and you can't help feeling better about yourself whenever he does as if your thoughts and opinions suddenly hold more weight. What? What? Are you? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Um, I didn't I need to have your permission to have a thought and it means so much more when you look at me. Okay. Is this for real? This can't be real. He brings up the possibility of marrying you one day as if he's joking, but you sense on some level that he's not really. Please don't ever teach people in please don't ever teach anyone any of these things on the receiving or the giving end. He finds excuses. Wait, sorry. He re regularly suggests doing things that he knows you like to do, like hit up your favorite ice cream shop or go see the movie you've been dying to stream. How you going to go see a movie you've been dying to stream? First of all, if you really want to do something, how about you pay a bill, okay? And that's what I like. He finds excuses to touch you, but not in an intrusive or sexual way. He rubs your shoulders, places a hand on the small of your back. I do like that. Or helps you tuck a stubborn wisp of hair behind your ear. Who are these people dating that, like, this has to be on the list? <laughs> He's not afraid to look ridiculous around you. You have at least one photo or video of him making a silly face or doing a silly dance on your phone. That's micro flirting. He... He asks, you for, he asks you for advice about everything from school to work and his home life and then actually follows it 99% of the time. He sends you hilarious screenshots of text threads between him and other people because he wants to involve you in his life as much as possible and he knows that you'll just get it. I mean, or you could just tell me what it is. You could tell, like, you could text it or you could tell me. I mean, I don't care. Um, you know, there's always that friend you want the tea on. <laughs> like, how is John doing? <laughs> you know what I mean? But, like... I'm feeling some kind of way about all that. He comments on your social media posts with inside jokes or references only you can possibly understand. I mean, I guess. But sometimes I don't like that. I don't like when people are like, <laughs> wink, wink. Like, you doing too much. You doing way too much. That's what you doing way too much. He tags you in the comment sections of memes that he knows will crack you up. I have time for this. He asks you for tips on who to follow so he can synchronize his social feeds with yours and stay up to date on the stuff you care about. This, okay, you know what? This might not even be for people in their like 20s. I think this is for the, 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 the teenager. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so with that in mind, let's keep going. You've, a package is on the way. What package? I don't know. Oh, maybe that's my chewy stuff. You've caught him staring at you out of the corner of his eye, but not in a creepy get in her pants kind of way. You can honestly stare at me with the get in your pants kind of way if we're both consenting and we're down for it. So I don't care. He compliments you, not just offhandedly, but in a thoughtful manner that demonstrates he's definitely pay, paying attention. I like that. I like that. That that seems, you know, that's appreciated. Thanks. He tells you how he honestly feels about things. 
issues big and small that impact him for whatever reason because he wants you to know that he's an emotional being and not some male robot. This is so gendered and based on so many stereotypes, but I'm also highly aware that people of all ages that are dating actually do experience a lot of this stuff, like positive and negative. He picks up the tab when it's totally unnecessary because it seems like the gentlemanly thing to do. I mean, I think I've typically been in, in relationships where some of this stuff is like, sort of follows the traditional gender roles kind of thing. But also, you know, I like to pay for stuff sometimes too. Like you can pay for the expensive stuff, you know, I'll buy a pack of gum or something. I mean, I don't know. The last one, he encourages you to follow your dreams because he truly believes that you can do anything. I agree with that, but then they had to keep on going. And he secretly wants to be there every step of the way as the plot of your life unfolds. I feel like that's real, like, hanger on -y. Like, you want to be there for my success? Like, why? Why? You know, I feel like you're just, like, holding on to my coattails, and I don't know if I want you there. First of all, I don't even have on a coat. So, I don't know. Like, it terrifies me that this <laughs> is what we are, like, teaching the children like you know like what <laughs> I don't think this is okay I actually you know I I at this point you know some of us we're at a point we don't I don't have time to play around okay I need you to out and out flirt with me I'm gonna ask you like what's going on here like um what's happening are, are we doing this thing are we dating you know I had that conversation with G real early on like I was like so so what's happening right um because I think that it's important to be on the same page rather than trying always to look for these little signs that are like so subtle that like it's just it's so important to be on the same page I think um even though it can be super scary to like put yourself out there and be like I really want to talk about this you know where's this going blah 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 you know are we are you seeing other people am I seeing other people you know like I think it's important to have those conversations relatively early on um yeah because <sighs> Listen, we don't have time, okay? Or I can say, I don't have time. I don't have time nor energy. And I don't want to waste any of that. It's limited. It's limited. I don't want to waste any of it, okay? Thanks. Um, the sum of this mess is real crazy. Okay, so I'm gonna bring this down a little bit because I'm feeling a little meme from Drew Carey. Y'all, the other day. This is when I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Generational differences. Um, I was talking to a client and I used the example. I was like, that's like, this isn't waiting to exhale. And who was I talking to? Cause somebody right around my age totally got it. They were like, oh, the scene where Angela that's it throws the, and the client was like, looked real confused. And I was like, you don't know what I'm talking about, huh? And <laughs> uh, they were like, no. And I was like, okay. So there's a movie called Waiting to Exhale. I just like, you know what? You know what? I think it was another client who, is in their late 30s early 40s and they were like oh like that one scene and I'm like yeah but child I use that with a younger folk and they looked at me like like what what who's waiting to exhale so I realized you know some things are just different for the children some things are just different 
But how, what are you thinking? Like, I know some people are going to appreciate micro flirting. I think I appreciate just full on all out flirting. Just give it to me straight, you know? Because most likely neither one of us has time to play. First of all, like age. But second of all, literal time. I don't have time, okay? So I don't have time for you microing. I just need you to go ahead and um, macro. I don't know. I know I'm blabbering on, but I really do want to know what y'all think. This is obviously, this is obviously not for our age demographic, okay? Okay. This one says you might be micro flirting and you don't even know. It says micro flirting is flirting in a subtle, not so obvious way and is usually done to gauge if one person is inter interested in the other. It's also a great way to protect yourself from rejection since low key flirting could easily be interpreted as you just being nice. So basically they're saying micro flirting is for the awkward introverted person. The person who couldn't pick up on social cues. Well, that actually sounds more like they might have a diagnosis on the spectrum. Why is it, you know what I've noticed about now? There has to be a word or a phrase for everything like micro flirting why do we have to separate it first of all that list of 28 is stupid but why do we have to like it, could it not just be flirting because because if it's not micro uh you know it's macro so could it just be flirting j j could it just be flirting i don't everything has to have a title and I know I know I I have become one of those people who's like well in my day we you know had to walk barefoot in the snow uphill backwards like I know I'm at that point where I'm you know we all get there where it's like kids these days you know what I'm saying um you know what, if you didn't have this Sugar High palette, I feel like you could also use the Natasha Denona Circle Loco. Let me see here. I think, like you've got this pink shade, you could use this icy blue, or this one, and then go ahead in with that one. So I think you could actually get a similar look if you have this Natasha palette. Micro flirting. I don't know. And you know, I think social anxiety and anxiety in general is super real, okay? Anxiety is, anxiety is a diagnosable mental health condition, right? But also what I often work with folks on with anxiety is like one of the best ways to manage anxiety is to approach the fear, like go towards the fear. Like you don't have to throw yourself in the deep end, but if you continue to hold yourself back from it, like it, the anxiety can start to seem like it's bigger and bigger and bigger, you know? And it's important to start to do that in, in a safe way with a person that you feel safe with. So I, I have worked with folks on being more comfortable, like making phone calls, which I think especially in this day and age, a lot of people struggle with. Um, or like being in crowds or learning how to just do like small talk or whatever. So I think that a lot of this is totally a lot of that anxiety is totally true and real. Um, so I don't know. I just don't know why we have to like 
break it down so like let me know your intentions because if you're micro flirting i might don't leave me I, I might miss it oh like thanks for calling me beautiful i'm gonna go you know hang out with this person who's obviously flirting with me you know what i mean i feel like i would miss it and you know that's just me now the other thing I wanted to mention that I saw, like this is reminding me of a couple of months ago when everybody was just all up on the girl math and girl dinner kind of stuff that I'm like, this is stupid. Um, my own judgment. Uh, but apparently there's this thing called leggings legs. So remember, what was it, like 10 years ago, there was like this whole trend of like the thigh gap. Do y'all remember that? Where it was like, you know, you're at the perfect weight or size when you have a gap between your thighs when you stand up and hold your legs together. I ain't never had one of those. Maybe when I was a newborn just coming out the womb, but I've never had a thigh gap, you know? I have thick thighs. Um, I'm gonna use the Tom Ford traceless soft matte foundation this is okay i got it on sale when it was half off um but and i i like the stick one this though is very thin so if you want like a very thin foundation this is one but i don't think you should pay the money for this one because you can it's like a skin tint go buy yourself a skin tint you don't need this You do not need this. This has barely any coverage, if anything. And I'm putting it on with my fingers because it's so thin that using like a brush or a sponge is just gonna suck up all, soak up, no, soak up all the product. So this is definitely for a certain demographic and it's not me because I tend to like a little bit more coverage. Um, but this is for those people who are super chill, you know, middle and upper class, um, who do use their fingers to apply stuff. You know, just, I'm not there, I'm not there. But if you do like a super light coverage and you want like a high end foundation for whatever reason, then you know, go for it. Cause it's nice. I just don't think it's worth it. But I wanted to use it today because Jessa and I were talking about it. Because she made me get it. <laughs> I love blaming other people for my purchases. So there's apparently this, remember there was the thigh gap thing, right? So now it's leggings legs. Apparently it's the same thing where you, or you're, you're standing up and you have your legs together and there's a gap. I am so incredibly over us policing women's bodies especially i was looking at these old pictures of myself um um because we're we're looking for like pictures of my dad to put in like uh you know a little thing for his birthday and forever in a day i have just bashed myself about my body about my weight it's kind of what led me to like my first like research line was um, body image and eating disorders. So, you know, there's this saying that research is me search. So basically things that are important to you in general tend to be, or can often be things that you want to research in your like um, career or whatever. So I'm looking at all these pictures and I'm like, I was so effing hot. Okay, arguably, okay, arguably. I was like, what? Why did I think so little of myself? And I know a lot of us do it. And it makes me so angry that it's just, you know, if you're a woman, especially if you're a woman in America, it's more likely that you're not going to love your body than if you were. Like, what is that? Little girls especially start dieting at like, 
they're babies. Like you don't even have everything working just yet and you're already like dieting. Ugh. And and it's it it is the same thing for decades and decades and decades. Like it's the same thing. I think it's getting better, but there's still so much like fat phobia and this like ideal body and it's just it, it doesn't even focus on actual health so you know you have all the keyboard warriors that are like I'm just telling you to lose weight for your health you don't even know what my health is were you taking my blood pressure like you don't even know it makes me think of um I don't know if you all follow the Instagram juicy body goddess so there's this woman wait where is she north carolina i think her name is summer lucille and she has a store juicy body goddess and basically it's um specifically for people in larger bodies it's specifically for people who are bigger especially women but it's you know anyone can go in um but i think she has more clothes for those who want to wear dresses and like um, more like traditionally feminine outfits. Anyway, so oftentimes, if you look at her Instagram and stuff, she has these like little videos, uh, where she's doing, um, like styling sessions with people. And, um, a lot of them, most of them are young women coming in, looking for clothing and having stories of like not being able to find, clothes that um fit them in just like the straight sizes in um in the stores like especially for like prom or homecoming or things like that just finding like what are what's that called dresses <laughs> finding like clothes for events you know and you'll see these girls and they'll come usually they come in and they're like super shy and like almost covering themselves up and then as the the consultation goes on and on you see them like coming into their own and people in the store are like yes or that one looks so good on you oh my gosh your skin is the per like this complements your skin tone this looks great you have the curve like all this stuff right that these young women do not hear often enough and then sometimes I'll go into the comments and people are like you're promoting obesity or somebody was like you're going to hell for helping somebody find a dress? If so, then I'll see you there. Like, I'm just like, why are people, the other thing that gets me, I was talking to Jan and Erica the other night and I was so heated. Cause I was like, these are kids, okay? These are, these are young women who are like 15. Well, like more like 16, 17, 18. These are children. And you have the unmitigated gall to come up on here on Instagram and comment about whether or not somebody is uh, healthy. How do you know? Are you literally their personal medical provider? Not to mention the medical field is still a little racist and and all kinds of other things. But it just really gets me when people are like, I'm doing it for your health, but you don't know me. You don't know my health. And size doesn't often correlate with health. <laughs> uh, so anyway, now there's this thing called leggings legs. So just be mindful if you are around or have youngsters in your life or children or anything. Like, you know take caution find out what's going on in their heads about these things because the world will have you thinking you don't mean a daggone thing because you don't look a certain way and i'm not here for that okay now i've been blabbing at y'all for a hot minute so let me go ahead and fix things up i think i'll add a wing maybe some lashes and we will be finished be right back so here is the finished look. I think I got close to the original and then put my little spin on it. Make sure that you head over to Jan's channel to see what she did this week. Of course, her channel will be um, linked in my description box. 
I think that's it. I hope some of this was helpful and I also hope that you are continuing to take care of yourself. I would love it if you liked the video and I would love it even more if you subscribe to the channel. Please be sure to leave me a comment. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.